So I got banned from YouTube again. <laughs> so definitely find me on Rumble at The Burn. The Burn on Rumble. I just don't have time to do like the Duran. Boy, I tell you, they're on Rockfin, Telegram. I mean, you name it. I mean, I just... And by the way, I will look into looking up. I did get go ahead and buy my blue check mark on Twitter. If you don't know where to find me on Twitter, it's that cybersec. That cybersec, uh, that's my handle because I was back when I had my cybersecurity business and I just never dropped that handle. But I have a blue check mark now, so I guess that means something. 80, what was it, $84 for the year. I figured, well, it's a subscription to Paramount, huh? Um, so I want to go through a real quick. Um, this is the first tweet. Would you like to see Jim Jordan go after Hillary Clinton? And I get all of these videos about how we're, we're finding out all these things about the corrupt Biden administration and we, we've got this thing on Hunter Biden and that and the other. You know what? It don't mean anything. If you don't have the power, okay, to enforce it, you can't do anything. Let's, let's just watch this clip. <laughs> Sitting cock out there. He knows what he's doing. I am the law. Drop your weapon. Deep or under arrest. Does that explain it? Because the FBI is the law. And uh, if you don't have the FBI, the corrupt FBI on your side, you can't do anything. And you also have the Injustice Department. With those two institutions captured, you can investigate till you're blue in the face. But what are you going to do about it? Unless the states are going to have a convention of the states that are going to or march on, you know, with their National Guards on Washington, D.C. Now, most of our troops are overseas right now. So you could possibly pull off a coup. I'm not suggesting that we do that. But I mean, I'm just telling you, unless you have the power to enforce anything about the corruption that goes on in the military... I mean, in the government, there's just not anything there. And uh, the next tweet that I wanted to bring up was this. And uh, I, because everybody's talking about the Zaporozhye nuclear plant because uh, Ukraine has been coming out with all sorts of nonsense about how the Russians are going to blow up. It's kind of like, let's see, the Russians blew up their own pipe. Uh, for whatever reason, we have no idea. Of course, I, Seymour Hersh, if you ever want to read his uh, synopsis, uh, he says the United States did it. And then the United States came out and said the Ukrainians did it. <laughs> Talk about a psyop, huh? Holy moly, yeah. So anyway, the whole world blew up the Nord Stream pipeline, uh, but I don't, the least likely candidate, in my opinion, was the Russians. So that's the first uh, stupid thing. And of course, then the Russians blew up the dam. Ukraine was sending missiles in on the dam from God knows day one. And uh, and finally the dam gave way. And, and you know, I, I mean, there's a lot of speculation about that, but uh, I just... I can't see, I mean, I got some swamp land here in Florida to sell to you if you really think the Russians blew up the dam after they had control of it. You know, oh, we got control of it. We're going to blow up our own dam. Same thing with the Zaporozhye nuclear plant. Do you honestly believe the Russians are going to blow it up? But I will read to you a pretty frightening thing that just came out of Russian television. According to the advisor to the general director of nuclear power plant operations agency, Rostier Gondanon, Ukraine is planning to strike the Zaporizhia no nuclear power plant overnight on, by the way, this will be tonight, so i got to get this video out today, with a missile containing a nuclear dirty bomb war. The question is, I guess, if, if the Russians can hit that missile far enough away, you know, I, I think the evidence would be pretty overwhelming that, it, that, that they had nothing to do with the nuclear power plant. I don't see how this is going to work. But you know what? The Western media, media is the best propaganda machine on Earth. They'll spin it. Who knows what will happen? I just wanted to see if there's any more breaking. Federal ju judge issues injunction shutting down Biden's regime censorship. Well, that's good. I mean, the courts are coming out in our favor on a lot of things. But once again, when you have the Department of Injustice and the FBI, uh, how are you going to enforce it? Let's watch another clip. In case some people have forgotten, this block operates under the same rules as the rest of the city. Mama is not the law. Let's 
citizens of peach trees. This is the law. Who think you are coming up here? Disperse immediately, or we will use lethal force to clear the- Well, there you go. They are the law! They are the law! All right, so let's get into the second half of the video. I just wanted to talk about a couple of things. This is mostly going to be video from uh, RT and uh, Russia-Ukraine updates. Always give credit where credit is due. By the way, the Russians have re, uh, re-engineered their uh, drone manufacturing plants. These Lancet Kamikaze drones are just having a devastating effect. And they're still working on them. Uh, they were a bit behind in the uh, drone technology when the war first began. I mean, they were working on it. They just didn't see the, um, the importance of drones in, in modern warfare. Well, now they know. And, uh, man, this is just, it's just wiping out the Ukrainians, uh, uh, terror. It's important for the help of our double-sided army. For example, if the army or artillery can't help to take the enemy's goal, or something important, the BMP, maybe a tank, it all depends on the orders. We are not directly destroying the object and give the enemy the object to the enemy. Так сказать, толчок для продвижения нашей пилоты. Эти дроны используются как дроны камикадзе, то есть расход. То есть в один конец они летят, уничтожают цель, поражают противника и помогают продвижению на линии фронта. Это вам не Мавик. Вот. Его очень сложно удержать на месте. Он очень быстрый. Его практически нереально вот заметить. Вот. Очень сложно с ним справиться, поэтому на обучение уходит какое-то такое определенное время. То есть не, на, не как на Мавике, сутки двое и ты уже пилот. Нет, тут чуть-чуть побольше, посложнее. Вот. Но все реально. You know, all I want is an end to the war. Anyway, let's, let's watch a couple of clips, because, you know, the main purpose of this video is I wanted to explain to you that you're up against a superpower. All right? You're not, you're not clubbing like... Colonel Douglas McGregor, I'm going to give him credit for this <laughs> phrase. I thought, you're not clubbing baby seals anymore, people. You're not clubbing baby seals. You are up against a superpower. And guess what? They are winning. And they're not just winning. They're winning big. We're looking at days where it's a 1 to 3 attrition ratio, a 1 to 10, a 1 to 15, sometimes a 1 to 18. That's one Ukra a Russian soldier against one Ukrainian soldier. So the, the, the flaw in the American character, okay, is that we don't understand uh, as a nation, you know, if we had, let's say, 1,500 body bags that just came back from, uh, well, we had 13 body bags come back from Afghanistan right at the end, you know, when we pulled out in that fiasco that the uh, Biden administration managed to perpetrate and that, that traitor General, Mill General Milley in Austin. But uh, so... Imagine if we had thousands and thousands of body bags coming home. How much suffering would the American people be willing to put up with then? Well, the Russians have that every day. But the Russians have seen this throughout the history of their nation. They, Russia's a very old, old nation. They're used to suffering. And they've suffered 20, what was it, 27 million casualties in World War II. This, to them, is just... Business as usual. And I don't, I'm not saying that I want Russians to suffer. I don't want Ukrainians to suffer. I want an end to the war. But what I'm telling you is, is that they're not going to stop. And that's, the, that's where the West doesn't have it in their heads. To this Russian, to the Russian people, to the Russian government, to their military um, special operations, uh, this, these are acceptable losses. They're not going to stop. Because you're not clubbing baby seals and they see this as... It's, it's existential to their existence. They know that they have to sacrifice their young men in order to survive as a nation, the Russian Federation. So anyway, let's watch a couple of videos of their hardware. You know, I just kind of want you to get a feel for what the hardware is. Let's watch. <laughs>
Okay, so that was a few videos. Okay, and then of course the Russian tanks. Uh, they've got a new tank, and I got to get the name of it. I will put it in the uh, above this clip. Uh, they haven't even deployed those yet. They're ready to go. Russia right now, you have to understand, they are fighting with two arms tied behind their back with handcuffs on, because really just what they want to do is they just want to blow up NATO hardware. <laughs> this is the ideal. I mean, imagine, you know, Ukraine has no air support. So Russia says, you know, bring it on, man. Keep bringing your hardware over here. We'll keep destroying Bradley's. I mean, you saw the, they now have a, Brad, a, a park in the Donbass named Bradley Park. And if you watch many videos, they, they talk about, they've named it Bradley Park because uh, they've destroyed so many Bradley's and tanks and everything else. And I'm, I'm sorry to say, <clears throat> that Ukrainians are dying, and you're not seeing the press gang. Ukraine's running out of soldiers. So, anyway, um, if I come up with something else, uh, this is going to be, uh, well, probably a fairly long video. Let's watch just for the to end the video. Let's watch a couple more clips of uh, actually Russia conducting the war instead of their hardware.
Все, я поднимаю птицу на пересе и начинаем работать. Орудие! Выстрел! Орудие! Выстрел! Выстрел! Орудие! Выстрел! Continued the attempts to conduct offensive operations in the Donetsk, Krasny Liman, and South Donetsk directions during the previous 24 hours. In the Donetsk direction, the EU group of forces in defense has successfully repelled 10 enemy attacks close to Belagorovka, Orekhovo Vasilovka, Yagodnoye, Klesheevka, Pervomaiskoye, Opetnoye, and Vodinoye of Donetsk People's Republic during the past 24 hours. In the past 24 hours, the enemy has lost up to 290 Ukrainian troops killed and wounded, two infantry fighting vehicles, nine motor vehicles, two pickup trucks, one Akatsa self-propelled howitzer, Mustabi and the 30 howitzers, as well as one Polish-made Krab self-propelled artillery system. An ammunition depot of the Ukrainian 54th Mechanized Brigade has been hit close to Vyimka of Donetsk People's Republic. In the Krasny Liman direction, that center group of forces units, aviation and artillery, inflicted losses on the units of the Ukrainian 21st and 67th mechanized brigades close to Nevskoye and Chervona Adibrova of Lugansk People's Republic. Moreover, four enemy attacks were repelled close to Novovodinoye of Lugansk People's Republic and Yampolovka of Donetsk People's Republic. One Ukrainian sabotage and reconnaissance group has been eliminated close to Chervona Adibrova of Lugansk People's Republic. The enemy has suffered losses of over 135 Ukrainian troops, two armored fighting vehicles, two pickup trucks, one Gwazdika self-propelled artillery system, as well as two D-30 and one D-20 howitzers in this direction in the past 24 hours. In the South Donetsk direction, artillery and heavy flamethrower systems of the Vostok group of forces have repelled two enemy attacks close to Urozhainoye of Donetsk People's Republic in the past 24 hours. In addition, actions of one Ukrainian sabotage and reconnaissance group have been thwarted near Priyutnoye of Zaporozhye region. In the Zaporozhye direction, Due to dedicated and cohesive actions of the Russian troops, a strike was delivered to a manpower and military equipment cluster of the Ukrainian 106th Territorial Defense Brigade near Lugovskoye of Zaporozhye region. 
In the past 24 hours, the enemy has lost up to 200 Ukrainian troops, one tank, four infantry fighting vehicles, four armored fighting vehicles, three motor vehicles, two stubby howitzers, as well as one D-20 howitzer. Moreover, an ammunition depot of the Ukrainian 47th Mechanized Brigade was destroyed close to Orekhov of the Zaporozhye region. In the Kupian's direction, operational, tactical and dummy aviation, as well as artillery of the Zapad group of forces, have inflicted losses on the Ukrainian manpower and military equipment close to Berestavoye and Timkovka of Kharkov region. Moreover, one enemy attack was repelled close to Novoselovskoye of Lugansk People's Republic. The enemy lost up to 30 Ukrainian troops, three motor vehicles, Akatsya and Getz and B self-propelled artillery systems, one D-20 Hauser and one American-made M777 artillery system during the past 24 hours. Moreover, an ammunition depot of the 67th Territorial Defense Brigade was neutralized close to Peshanoye of Kharkov region. In the Kherson direction, up to 50 Ukrainian troops, three motor vehicles, one stubby howitzer and one US-made M777 artillery system have been neutralized over the past 24 hours. Operational tactical and dummy aviation, missile troops and artillery of the Russian group of forces have engaged 85 Ukrainian artillery units at their fire on positions, manpower and military equipment in 102 areas during the day. Fighter aircraft of the Russian Aerospace Forces has shot down one Ukrainian Su-25 airplane near Grigorovka, as well as one made helicopter of the Ukrainian Air Force near Novogrodovka of Donetsk People's Republic. Russian air defense units have shot down two Su-25 airplanes of the Ukrainian Air Force near Georgievka of Donetsk People's Republic and Orekhov of Zaporozhye region. In addition, five HIMARS projectiles have been intercepted over the past 24 hours. 14 Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles were destroyed in the areas of Ploshanka and Topolevka of Lugansk People's Republic, Krynki, Sagi of Kherson region, Gladkoye, Nistirianka, Inzhenyernoye of Zaporozhye region. In total, 449 airplanes, 241 helicopters, 4,887 unmanned aerial vehicles, 426 air defense defense missile systems, 10,503 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 1,134 combat vehicles equipped with MRLS, 5,330 field artillery cannons and motors, as well as 11,407 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation. You know, one thing that gives me great comfort is that if these Globalist lunatics in the Biden administration, the warmongering Democrats do drive us to global thermonuclear war. The, um, the globalists, you know, they've got all their hardware on the islands. Uh, they don't understand they need the people to survive. Uh, if they're going to depopulate, uh, like, uh, let's just take the Bill Gates, uh, George Soros, uh, John Kerry, uh, Joe Biden, um, Jim Blinken, uh, Millie, Austin, I consider them all globalist. Uh, they're, they're globalist puppets. Uh, uh, Charles, uh, anyway, uh, the bullies in Brussels, if you want to say. So I kind of wrote this to finish off the video here. Um, and this is uh, it's kind of my change. Uh, I wish I could put this to music, uh, but maybe somebody will. Because uh, I don't have the money to pay for the rights, and I don't want this video copyrighted. You can run on for a long time. Run on for a long time, run on for a long time. Sooner or later, God will cut you down. Sooner or later, God will cut you down. Go tell that globalist liar. Go tell that Democrat writer. Tell the rhino rambler, the nuclear war gambler, the backbiting U.S. politician. Sooner or later, God will cut you down sooner or later god will cut you down tell them that god's gonna cut them down go tell that long-term politician liar go tell that midnight ci writer tell that rhino rambler the nuclear war gambler the backbiting u.s politician sooner or later god will cut you down sooner or later god will cut you down all right that's it for this video and it's good 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 to live in the free 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 republican state of florida under the great leadership of governor de sanctimonious